Welcome back to the OpenCV tutorials. Today we're going to talk about easy setup using Visual Studio 2013, C++, and a plugin called Sample, which integrates with Visual Studio and includes the libraries for OpenCV for you. Before we get started, one interesting thing, the camera that comes with Microsoft Windows does face tracking. So this is one of the things that we'll be going through. I also have two cameras connected here. We'll show how to switch between these cameras in OpenCV. Even my camera does face tracking like this, and I believe it focuses on whatever is in the middle of the screen. Anyway, I'll close this so it doesn't conflict with OpenCV. You're going to need to download Visual Studio 2013, which is free. You can find it this website. You'll need to go to the Sample website and download this plugin and install it. It will integrate with Visual Studio. I'll provide links for these in the description. I've already installed them. These are the two installers right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open Visual Studio 2013 and show you how it works. So we'll just go to New Project here. Make sure that you've selected Visual C++ and then scroll down to the bottom. You should find a new project type called Simple OpenCV Project. You can call it anything you would like and push the OK button. Now it has gone through and it's set up the libraries, connected everything, so we're ready to go. It even created a simple example program. So in the next tutorial, this, this one is more of a prequel, but in the next one we'll start into the coding. I'll talk a little bit about how to set up the environment uh, without this plugin in case you have an existing C++ program and you need to include the libraries. Kyle Hanslow has a tutorial that makes it really easy to include those libraries. So once you've made your new project, you can just hit the Start button here. And this particular one is going to do change the image to grayscale. It's going to do a Gaussian blur. And then it's going to do the canny algorithm. And it's basically going to pull out all of the edges for my face. Close this down here. And I'll show you how to connect to my other camera. So my other camera, we're looking through it right now. It's a Microsoft iDef webcam. It looks like this. In order in the code to switch over to using this camera, when we declare this video capture with a value of 0, we'll just switch this to 1, which will grab the next camera connected to a computer. So now you can see uh, we're looking at the video from that other camera. So not only does Simple make it easy for you to create a project, um, it also gives you a bunch of examples that you can use. So I'm going to close Visual Studio, go to my C drive where Simple was installed, and within that, there's a folder called Samples, and you can double click this examples project. And it will open up a whole bunch of different examples in the Solution Explorer here. So I think there are probably around 100. I'm going to go to this one called CPP Edge and click on it. If you, if you right click on it, you can come down to Debug and start a new instance. Now it's going to take a picture of some different fruits, and it's going to go through and do an algorithm that separates out the edges. And based on the parameter, the value of the parameter that you specify, you can go through and you can start sweeping through and removing some of these what are called contours. You can get it down to sort of the base edges. So there are a bunch of examples that you can go through and try. In the next tutorials, we'll go through, start into the coding, and we'll start getting ready for what we're going to need to use to do face tracking and object tracking. But that's it for today.